Hey guys, welcome. Hope all is well. I'm at the start of my trailhead. I'm gonna air down and go on this adventure and find a really cool camp spot. So funny story, well I don't know if it's a funny story. I guess maybe it is now. So I have Gaia GPS. And in Gaia GPS, I was tracking, saving, and mapping all my stuff. And in doing so, what I would do was I would archive everything. And apparently, archive means permanently delete in Gaia. And I found this out after like three months of doing this. So I know of a great camp spot. And I believe I mapped this trail out right. It's about 30, 35 miles in from start to finish. And somewhere in the middle is the awesome camp spot that I remember. I hope I mapped it out right. I'm not exactly sure. We'll find out if I end up there. But let's air down and get on this adventure. made it to my camp spot. Not the one I was looking for, but this'll do. And it's not bad. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I did, you know, I mapped it out wrong. That's all it is. So I'm gonna have to look at the map again when I'm home and see if I can find that awesome camp spot, man. It was awesome. All right, I am tired. I'm here a lot later than I wanted to be. So I'm just gonna hustle, get camp set up, situated so I can enjoy being out here i got camp all set up everything's pretty much squared away put where i needed to be i've just been relaxing it's been a long busy week and day today i'm exhausted man i just want to chill so that's what i'm gonna do the only thing i have to do is here let's, uh, so here's the fire ring uh, it's right over here. I need to fix this up. Luckily, I have some wood right here. I'm actually going to relocate the fire ring. So, I'm, at, you know, I'm going to move it to about right here. So I can enjoy it right where my camp is. Since it's not, you know, in good shape, I was like, screw it. I'll demolish it and make a new one. Um... So I think uh, I'm going to do that now so I don't have to worry about it later and I can just chill the rest of the time.
Mm. All right, guys. So I am going to tell you how my day went. So I got up this morning. This, or I should, you know, let me start with this week. So today is Monday. So last week, it has just been go, go, go for me. From dawn to dusk, it's just been go, go, go. And so I've been very busy, very hectic, things going around. So like when today came, I was really, you know, excited to get out, explore, have a good time, find a good camp spot, and just, you know, kind of breathe and relax. That is not happening this trip. Oh my God. So today I woke up and I had a moment where I was like, you know, maybe you should go tomorrow and you can do the few things that you need to still get done today. And then you can go tomorrow, enjoy your day, blah, blah, blah. I was like, eh, no, you know what? I'm just going to go today. And when I, you know, when I'm done with my trip, I can just, you know, finish the few things that I need to get done, done when I get back home. Cause it's not that it's a few days won't matter. And so I packed everything up, threw it all in my truck and came out about, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 miles to go to the trailhead. It, clicked in my head I completely forgot my Tupperware to put my leftovers because I love having leftovers that way um you know if I'm not in the mood for cooking or you know doing anything and I just want to eat I can just warm up my leftovers and there you go so that's not actually going to happen this trip. I'm not going to have any leftovers this trip and I'll get into that in a minute just let me you know backtrack and start so I get to the trailhead and, you know, I mapped this out because I remembered an awesome camp spot. And I was like, I want to go to that awesome camp spot because it has running water, a creek. And it's just, it, it was awesome. I was like, I'll have a great time there and all will be well. And, you know, about maybe a third to halfway here or on, on, the, on the trail, I realized I mapped it out wrong. I, you know, I pit, it's, I'm not, I'm not going to get it. So I found, you know, th and this is a pretty cool camp spot. I like it, uh, excluding one thing, the bugs. If you've noticed, I keep, you know, swatting them away. Uh, so, th I mean, that's pretty much what I've been doing. And so it's so irritating. And so when I got here, you know, the bugs weren't here. So I was like, you know, whatever. So I started setting everything up, you know, going. I was just sweating because it's 80 degrees. And I got everything up. I was like, cool, now I have some shade. Everything's situated. I can relax, stop sweating, and just enjoy my time. And that is when the bugs started to show and the flies. And I've just been swatting them away. And so what I would do is I would escape to the tent. I'd be like, let me go in the tent, away from the bugs, get a little relief. But the thing is, since it's 80 degrees outside, inside the tent it was like 90 95 degrees so what i kept doing is an umbrella i kept moving that around to block most of the sun from hitting inside the tent which actually helped because it cooled it down a little bit and then another good thing i guess that happened was it started to get you know partly cloudy and then the clouds would block the sun to bring me a little shade and cool down and there was you know a breeze coming here and there so that helped so that was nice but, it, it, you know, it wasn't enough to keep it, you know, the tent from heating up too much or too hot. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying, man. I'm so, like, out of it. Okay, so that was going on. So I kept coming from in and out of the tent. And then, you know, it was, I wanted to get the campfire ring situated so I could have a campfire. And then, as well, help for all these bugs. Because once I get that going, I know they're all going to go away which I'm going to get that going real soon. And when I got the camp, you know, when I started working on the campfire ring, it was, you know, again, started sweating a bunch. <sighs> but that got situated and I was like, all right, once that was done, I was like in the wood as well. Um, that the little bit of wood that was here as well. Once I got that like cut up and situated, I was like, cool. I'm good. I have my wood, that wood. And I even saw that there was some wood that I could go grab and scavenge and cut up. But I was like, uh-uh, not doing it. Things aren't going my way. I feel like crap and sweating. It's just, ugh, what I have is good enough. And so that happened. 
And then, you know, after that, after I got the campfire ring situated, I escaped again to the tent because of the bugs. And so I was like, you know what, I'm wearing jeans. And I was like, it's time to change into shorts. Well, surprise, surprise, I forgot to, back, to pack my shorts. As well as I forgot to pack um, my, um, so I have these, I guess, sweat shorts that I wear when I go to bed. I forgot those as well. So I was like, cool, whatever. Add that to the list. Um, and then, you know, I decided to come out here. I was like, let me start getting my food ready so I can start cooking or start, you know, start to get ready to cook because, you know, I'm getting hungry. And uh, in doing so, I realized I forgot my utensils. Not all of them. I have a fork and a spoon. And so I have to figure out, I do have the plastic um, knife that I actually, on one trip, I forgot my utensils and the plastic knife actually worked in cutting stuff up. So I might have to do that again. I don't have to cut up a lot of things. I just have to cut up the broccoli, zucchini, and onion. Everything else is prepped and ready to go. Um, so I have that. So I had that happen. Now, the weather is actually beautiful. It's 72 degrees, so it's gorgeous right now. I... I'm going to get the campfire going so I can get rid of these bugs so I can start prepping my food so I can cook my food and so I can eat my food and enjoy hopefully my night the re or I should say my e the rest of my evening and the night and then so in the morning I already decided I am not cooking anything I'm not gonna try to make breakfast because I'm gonna have to deal with the bugs. I don't wanna get the fire going because I know it's gonna get warm real quick. And so I was like, you know, the leftovers, that's gonna be my breakfast. And then the fruits and some veggies that I have, you know, I will eat those and then I should be good. And then I'll probably get out of here early um, just so I don't have to deal with the bugs. And then I am kind of curious, um, you know, because, so when I map this out, um, my start, so the last time I did this, I started, I reversed it. So my start is my end and my end is my start this trip. And so I, I'm hoping I'm ending where I started last time. If I did, then I know I got my start and my end right. It's just my journey in between that I got to figure out. And so, you know, I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to get home, you know. I'll just relax at home, take a breather at home. I'm probably going to do nothing tomorrow when I get home and just chill. And so, there you go. That, that's, that is my day in a nutshell. So now it's time to get the, here, let me show you actually. Um, so here is uh, the camp or the campfire ring. That's what it looks like. And there's the wood that, you know, I kind of cut up and situated that was right there. And that's, that's my wood. Now there is like, I did see some like good chunks out there that I could cut up with my saw that I have, but I was like, I ain't gonna do any of that work. The way things have been going today, I was like, mm -mm. I'm just gonna use the wood that I have and the wood that's here, that'll be plenty enough for tonight. I am not planning on having a fire in the morning. I mean, I might, who knows? We'll see. So I am going to get the campfire going, the firing situated so I can get rid of these bugs so I can start cooking.
So I added a little more wood to the fire um, to keep that going. So that's the fire right now. The bugs have all but disappeared uh, because of that. So I'm feeling so much better. But I don't know if I told you guys what I'm making. So I am making fried rice, some veggies, the you know, the zucchini and broccoli, and then uh, sea scallops. So let's get that going. Mm. That's it right there. <sighs> My food was delicious. Now I have a little dilemma because I ended up eating all the scallops and the veggies. I still have fried rice, but all the other stuff is gone. I was hungrier than I, I thought. <sighs> I'll probably just have the, the fruit and the veggies. I'll be good with that um, probably tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I, I'm not gonna cook. It's, it's, it's not gonna happen, you know? I, I forgot the silverware, the utensils, all that stuff. So it's just a hassle. I don't want to worry about that. 
Anyways, I'm not gonna think about that now. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I am just gonna enjoy my evening, enjoy the fire, it's roaring, and go from there. All right, guys, I have been chilling. I figured I'd relax. I ended up getting the fire going because I still had a little bit of the leftover wood that was here. Um, so I figured I'd just burn that up, enjoy my morning before the bugs started to come. And dang, what time is it right now? So it is 9.45, the bugs are out and I, already have started to pack everything up. I got everything outside of the tent, so it's just pretty much at this point, put everything in the truck. <clears throat> All right, guys, I got everything packed up. Putting a fresh, clean shirt on, even though I'm dirty and all sweaty. All right, fire is fully extinguished. Double check, make sure I didn't forget anything. No, everything's packed up, ready to go. All right, let's go on this journey and see if uh, where I started last time is where I ended this time, so I know. For future reference.
All right, guys, I am airing up. Uh, I am at the end of my journey. I 100% mapped this out wrong because the end isn't where I started last time. So I guess I got another journey ahead of me another day. Anyways, this is where I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna finish up airing up and then head on home. So just like normal, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care, guys.